Oh no! Why now? Please be no big deal. Welcome back guys to some more F122 driver career mode. We are still in F2. We are going into race 2 of 7. I'm not quite sure what the F2 schedule looks like, but we are going into the next round, which is already Monaco, a classic, historic, you name it, track of the F1 calendar. And hopefully we can have a good race here. It's going to be two sprint races and a feature Stay race. With the them usual here. F2 no. like lineup for the weekend. So we'll go in and do the practice programs and then go into qualifying. You guys are just going to see the highlights of practice, of course, before we enter qualifying. If you guys are new, you don't know that. I'm just introducing you. But anyway, enough dilly dallying, enough chit chat. Let's jump in and see if we can perform well like last time and raise some eyebrows on the F1 paddock. All right, welcome to qualifying around Monaco, Monte Carlo circuit in the F2 series. Now, I was curious and I looked this up. So the qualifying pace program of the practice session said that I had to do a 118 something, 118. That has never been done in F2 history. 1193 is the fastest lap ever recorded around Monaco, and that was Charles Leclerc in 2017 in a Prima. 119.309 is Charles Leclerc's fastest lap and the fastest lap today up around Monaco. So, what is the qualifying praise program asking me to do? 118 is impossible to get around Monaco. Also, in 2022, May 26th through May 29th was where uh, F was when F2 raced around Monte Carlo, and the fastest laps recorded were 121.5, 121.3, 121.5. So, what do you mean try to get a 119 or 118? I just don't understand. I said a 121.5, so I am as fast as the F2 drivers are in real life. So. It just doesn't make any sense. The practice programs are absolutely broken in this game. I've just given up on understanding this. Anyway, we're jumping into qualifying. We just need a good lap. We know for certain if the AI is setting 120s that we're not going nowhere near that time. I think is Viscal coming across the line first? I don't know. Who are doing the... Uh, oh, I'm in qualifying groups, aren't we? Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, we'll have to see how everyone does here, but I'm not looking too hopeful of getting out of this qualifying group. But we'll see. Let's just set a lap. Enough jibber-jabber. Let's see what kind of lap time we can set. Great exit. Let's see. Let's see our first lap time around Monaco is a 120. Not bad. Not bad, I must say. Not bad. Let's go for another one. Okay, improved by a little bit. Let's see if we can go up any further on the grid. Up to P9 again. Okay, not bad. Better qualifying position than last episode. I'm out of fuel now. So we're going back into the grid, uh, into the pits to refuel and maybe come out later towards the end of the lap or end of the session to set another lap time. Oh my god. Nearly six tenths improved. Let's see, 5.6 tenths improved. That's the fastest lap. Hello. Yes, you've just put in the fastest lap. Good job. How? Wow. I focused so much on that lap that it came out of nowhere. Wow, that's it. Because I did one lap and then I did another. Oh, I'm out of fuel. But that is marvelous. That's P1 of the session or of the group, I guess. Mr. Monaco. I'm Mr. Monaco. Look at that. Pole position or P1 of Group B. Let's see. Uh, let me take a look at what Group A did. But yeah, what a lamp. 1.8 tenths faster than Felipe Drugovic, who was maintaining P1 for most of the session. And then I just came in the final moment and snatched it away from him. What a ra What a lap. What a lap indeed. Love to see myself up in P1 uh, in Group B. A, no one has set any lap times yet, so that's weird, but that we'll see how it happens later. Uh, but apparently, results overall, we are in the lead so far. Four points to our name. Marcus Armstrong still hasn't driven, but we'll see how well they do. So, race day coming up now. Let's go to the sprint race. Sprint race one of two. See how well we do this race weekend. Monaco. 
Formula 2 has been welcomed back to this most famous of race locations and the excitement in the air is building as we count down to the start of today's race. The Circuit de Monaco is, for all practical purposes, pretty much unchanged since its 1929 introduction. It's strange to consider, but this 2.1 mile lap will take the drivers here around almost an entire country. 19 corners, but not that many opportunities for overtaking. Instead, this is a track that rewards technical skill. I'm Alex Jakes and I'm joined once again by the GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. Davide, today's race takes place on one of the most infamous street circuits in motorsport. What is it about this track that makes it stand out? Alex, I'm very happy to be here. Monaco is a short track, but the wall is just after the white line. The drivers need to stay aware from the line and from the wall. And it's so important to start in the first two row if you want to compete for the victory. All right, P10 starting position. Um, let's see. It's going to be a sprint race, so it's going to be literally soft compound tires, and it's going to be done. Um, let's see. A lot of tire wear around here, so it is a little bit of a worry, but I think we've got a good uh, strategy going for us. Not really strategy, like driving skill for us. I love this track. I know how to manage my tires. Let's start this race. It's going to be a broadcast uh, formation lap, so enjoy. that gets underway for this, the Formula 2 race and every driver looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure the car is ready for battle once the lights go out. ready to start the Formula 2 race as the cars take their positions on the grid, drives and teams making their final preparations. All right then, let's get this race underway. It is time for the Monaco Sprint Race. Five red lights and we are underway here. Not bad of a start. Oh, I slipped out of Santa Volt. Not good. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Why are they going slow around the hotel? Drugovic, you didn't need a break there. Vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire oh, condition okay. now. That was a wall bang, not a front wing tap. Good. I got lucky there. Sorry. I didn't get my brake zone right. Boy, Monaco is different gravy, man. Oh, okay. Whew. That was a warm up. That was a warm up, guys. That was a warm up. Let's go now. Let's try to push. Don't have to tell me twice, it's Monaco, baby. Let's try to get Djurgovic. Oh dear, my DRS is out. But it doesn't matter since I'm nowhere near Djurgovic right now. 
I'm trying to catch him, but Daruval is catching me a lot faster than I'm catching Daru uh, Drugovic. Sorry. This is tricky, man. F2 is tricky. I feel like I got the driving down, but I just don't have my shifting down. Oh, Marcus Armstrong's out, my teammate. I was just about to say, this has been the most boring Grand Prix. And in the final lap, there's some drama. Yeah, I couldn't get anything done. I couldn't catch Drugovic. It's weird. I guess my car is just slow, or my driving is just horrible. Driving hasn't been that bad, but it is what it is, I guess. He's right up there, four seconds up the road. Well, it's Monaco after all. Alright, Novel Chicane. Yeah, well, this is Monaco. Not a lot of overtakes are usually done around here. Everyone fell asleep after watching us start this race, man. The two race overtakes I did at the early stages was the only real like highlight of my race. Otherwise, I was just driving in circles. And just like that, we complete the sprint race starting P7 or finishing P7. Alright, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. Brilliant stuff from Trident today. What a superb victory. And I have to wonder, Davide Valsecchi, just what set them apart from the competition here? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Consistency. Anyone can be quick for just one lap, but there's a difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground, when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. Our drivers are making their way out for the podium celebrations and it's going to be Trident picking up the winner's trophy. Congratulations to the entire team for coming out on top in that amazing race. Well, it is pretty much your race if you start towards the front of the grid uh yeah overtaking in monaco is quite difficult but we were almost there in the early stages of the race but couldn't keep it up the tires died down so quickly like around lap five it started to get really bad and then towards the end it was just in existent pretty much so yeah, we'll move on to the next sprint race then. Not bad for Ben Fiscal, who started at pole position and ends in pole position. P7 for us, two points to Dams and my name. Marcus Armstrong sadly couldn't finish the race today. So let's take a look at the weekend results. So far, I am sitting P6 after the four points from qualifying give us a solid number of points. So uh, six points, what does that mean for the standings for the team? Well, we are 48 points and in the lead against ART as we still have two races left though. So we must put that into consideration. In the driver standings, we're only 8 points behind Drugovic. Uh, P4 for us, only 1 point behind Lungard, who's just ahead of us. So well, it's anything, it's anyone's game right now. It's all to fight for as we enter the next round of sprint races. Sprint race 2 of 2. Welcome to one of, if not the most iconic race circuit in Formula 2. A track with absolutely no room for error, a track that requires every bit of skill these young drivers can muster. We're getting ready for lights out here in Monte Carlo. All right, after a very mundane, boring Grand Prix, we're in for our second sprint race. Um, well, yeah, it's a no stop um, strategy here, of course. So let's just get started. It's a P4 starting position, formation lap. Here we go. The formation lap gets underway for this, the Formula 2 race and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure the car is ready for battle once the lights go out. We are almost ready to start the Formula 2 race as the cars take their positions on the grid, the drives and teams making their final preparations. And here we go, it's time to start the second sprint race of the weekend, lights out and away we go. 
Oh, whoa. Why did I ghost? Why is there ghosting? Sorry? Sorry? Excuse me? What? What? Why am I ghosted? No, I'm not having this. Alright, let's get this Grand Prix or sprint race underway. I keep saying Grand Prix. Lights out and away we go. Not bad. Dove it on Vips. Got the move done. Let's get to Ruvula here. Oh my god, I hope it, there's some more activity in this race because knowing Monaco is going to be pretty much a procession of cars rather than, you know, a race. Why is Durable so slow through there? Alright, anyway, we're pulling away, we're pulling away. Focus on the road. Let's go. Oh, a little slippage out of there. Alright, decent turns there through swimming pool. Not the sh cleanest of laps, but we'll take it. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's get Daruvula and Piastri. Come on. We can do this. Let's focus up, Sue. Oh, Boshung's out. Apparently, Boshung's out of the Grand Prix. Oh, we are dropping back significantly against Piastri and Daruvla. Unbelievable pace from the two of them. But we need to keep pushing, try to get within their grasp. Also, a safety car will be very nice. Oh, it's a yellow flag ahead. What does this yellow flag mean? Oh, is that Daruvula? Oh, we get P2. It's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Did someone crash into Daruvula? I don't know. Well, it's taking Daruvula an awful long time to retire. Oh boy, P2 gifted to us. The AI was like, oh, this race is too boring. Let me just put an incident on track, see what happens. And up to P2 we go. Okay, oh, safety car. safety car. Safety car deployed. On track. Mind your delta. Okay, okay slow down, slow multiple down. cars negative, stopped on track. Your pace. Safety car. Oh, interesting. I I was gonna say this is going to become one of the more boring or er, sprint races. And here we go. I don't know how long this is gonna be, but I wonder if the safety car is just gonna play out and I just get a... What do I say? A theatrical view of the whole safety car, but if that's the case, I'm just gonna cut it. Alright, Piastri has gone for it. Come on, let's stay close to him. Oh my god, he's pulling away already, how? That Prima must be really good. Alright, the race is gonna end. I still am gonna be P2 after that safety car. Darn it, man. My tires are too worn. Tires are too worn. I have a suspicion that the AI does not experience this tire wear that I do. Look at him go, too. Look at that. The last lap OP AI is a thing. It's still a thing. Come on. That was a nice save, man. I have no grip on these tires anymore. Corner cutting? That is very rare to see you get a corner cutting warning on the hairpin. 
Okay, this is Mark. I need you to stop cutting the corners. If you Chill out, Mark. Up, the stewards are going to give you a penalty. Chill out. Yeah, no way we're going to catch Oscar. The AI is too OP on the final lap. Darn it, man. Another podium, though. But what matters most is the feature race. We're going to get the maximum points out of the feature race. And we're starting from pole position, so this was a good prac- Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I kind of cracked the car. And there we go. Checkered flag. PS3 won it. I am P2. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. So another excellent win from Framer. Tell me, Davide, what was the key to this success? I think they kept a cool head. That's why they wanted it. Smooth, steady, everything bad that happened to them, they handled it calmly and professionally. That's what let them focus on getting the best out of everything else. The car, the strategy, they managed to keep out of trouble the whole way around. As we look back on a thrilling race here today, we can now see the drivers take their places on the podium. It's a familiar sight by now, as it's another successful F2 win for Prane. Not too bad, I must say. Not too bad to see ourselves in P2 in Monaco. It's one of the race circuits that overtaking is borderline impossible. Although we do do them a lot of times, but I haven't driven an F1 around here yet, so we'll see if I can make more overtakes there. But driving F2 cars is very difficult, and I'm quite happy with the result. So let's move on to the feature race with this kind of confidence. All right, well, that was another Monaco sprint race done. Piastri wins it, and myself in P2, good. Armstrong P7, so he gained some positions or on some points. I think a lot of this has to do with that one safety car that appeared, so... We'll see if overtaking is more possible on race day of the feature race, of course. So far, we're leading the standings in the race weekend. The results are looking good. 18 points, and then behind me are Viscal and Piastri with 17 points each. We need to try and win this one, so let's go in and see if we can win the feature race. Monaco. Formula 2 has been welcomed back to this most famous of race locations and the excitement in the air is building as we count down to the start of today's race. The circuit de Monaco is, for all practical purposes, pretty much unchanged since its 1929 introduction. It's strange to consider, but this 2.1 mile lap will take the drivers here around almost an entire country. 19 corners, but not that many opportunities for overtaking. Instead, this is a track that rewards technical skill. Let's look at the grid order for today's race while the cars make their final preparations. The rookie lines up on pole position with Felipe Dragovic alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Piastri, Phipps, Jan Deruvula and Zendeli, Fittipaldi, Aitken, Beckman, Ben Fiscal, Porcher, Schwartzman, Guan Yu Zhou and Tictum, Lawson, Lungard, Vashore and Galome Samaya. Armstrong, Boschon, Deleda, and Marino Sato completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. I'm Alex Jakes and I'm joined once again by the GP2 champion Davide Valsecchi. Davide, today's race takes place on one of the most infamous street circuits in motorsport. What is it about this track that makes it stand out? Alex, I'm very happy to be here. Monaco is a short track, but the wall is just after the wild line. The drivers need to stay aware from the line and from the wall. And it's so important to start in the first two row if you want to compete for the victory. All right, front row of the grid, but I also think half of the grid didn't do laps in qualifying. Strange. So I think I was right in saying that Group A did not do any laps. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. Let's edit our strategy. I want to start on the softs. Um, and then go long. Yes, there we go. That works. Um, only 0 0.02, so two thousandths of a second slower. I'll take that strategy. Going long on this uh, one. So let's start this race then. 
The formation lap gets underway for this, the Formula 2 race, and every driver will be looking to settle in for the race ahead, making sure the car is ready for battle once the lights go out. Almost ready to start the Formula 2 race as the cars take their positions on the grid. The drives and teams making their final preparations. All right, here we go. Soft to super soft. Five red lights, and away we go. Beautiful getaway off the line. Why am I ghosted? Yo, 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 this is illegal. This is illegal. All right, I had to start the race again because ghosting cars is really weird. I have ghosting off. It's weird. Five red lights, and away we go. Oh, vehicle condition. No need to worry about the tire condition for now. Everything's looking good. Are we ghosting now? Oh, I think if you do the formation lap, it ghosts. If you do the uh, broadcast formation lap, the cars ghost upon uh, starting the race. Okay, that's weird. Oh my god. Alright, let's push, let's push. I'm going long on the soft, so my job is to make this car as wide as possible because I think the dams is not as fast as the other cars. I mean, technically, I think I'm in Roy Nassani's car, so I'm not surprised. Oh, I've been shunted from behind. And just like that, lap one's done. 21 laps. So 20 laps to go. Come on. Oh, it's a move from... Is that a move from Darugovic? He tried it. Try to give him as much space as I can. But we're defending okay. It's been a fairly boring Grand Prix guys, not gonna lie, I do apologize if the video is short because Monaco is just boring sometimes. So far so good, keeping everyone behind us and I hear some crunching meaning there's some battles going on back there I think. Or it's just cars colliding against each other as they go around the hairpin. Who knows. Ooh, I got a 1.3 second gap to them now. Cars behind me. Alright, I expect many of these guys to pit now. Half of the super soft should be pitting this lap. I don't know, no one has pit yet. Maybe one okay, more lap. Approaching the pit window and we're gonna put you onto super softs. Oh, some people are going in whole bunch of people in the later half of the race so Marcus, is in the pits. Marcus in the pits Marcus is in okay all right Djokovic is in the second half of the field is now in 
condition still looking good. They're gonna be slow on these softs. I'm gonna be faster on the super softs and low fuel. So the advantage is on my side. Plus they're gonna have to warm up the tires, but warming up the tires isn't too difficult enough to box this lap. Confirmed, we'll receive you at the end of this lap. Alright, Drukovic is really catching up to me. We need to go. We need to go. The super subs are going to be a little fast, I think. So let's hope that we can get the grip and the necessary pace against the others to get P1. Oh dear me. Here we are. In we go. I think I need to do the turn in sequence, right? Two, one, zero. Well, how is that late? Come on now. I did it right on time. I need to press it a little early. That stop was slower than we ideally wanted to see. Uh, it's going to be close as we exit against Dru Drukovic and Vips. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Uh, that was poor. Oh, why was it going so slowly there? Around the outside, sure, okay. Time for Drugovic. Let's try to catch that guy. Come on. Super soft, please give me the pace. Oh, fastest lap, let's go. Gap to your teammate behind is 20.1 seconds. Come on, let's get closer to Drugovic, please. I want to be within one second. Issue. We're oh currently no. investigating. Why now? Please be no big deal. Come on. Stay with him here. Okay, no. Looks like a mechanical failure. We're going to have to ask you to find a safe spot to retire. Sorry about that. Damn mate. it, man. Okay, this is serious. We need you to oh. retire as soon as possible. Virtuosi have pulled off a great victory here today. Davide, what do you think made the difference here? I think this race was won thanks to the tire management. You have to remember, it's not just about going as fast as you can. It's about consistency. It's about maintaining your speed over an entire race distance. So being able to keep the lap time competitive while still respecting the tires that's where they won today. And here are podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Virtuosi then are on top today. Well, that is heartbreak. Engine failure. Ah, if we really want to win this, we need to be on top form. The people in the factory have a lot of answering to do. Drugovic with another fastest lap and uh, finishing in top on the top step of the podium. I DNF, but Marcus Armstrong is down in P17. Bummer, man. We did not score any points. That is going to be bad for the standings. We dropped down to third after this race weekend behind Drugovic and Piastri. Um, 43 points to my name at this time and standings wise we drop down four points behind Uni Virtuosi we switch positions yet again and we are trailing them which is not good we need to find some points somewhere and try to keep our aggression going against them so let's see if the next race weekend will help us in that effort I would say it's been a very poor performance from us not so much with our performance but with the video and overall 
the result of the race weekend we had a good two sprint races p7 as well as a p2 finish we just struggled so much with the race weekend we did so well in this feature race we could have won it too we were closing in on drugovic ahead but the engine gave out if we really want to win this as a team we need to be on point with all of our durability our engine wear our uh, overall aerodynamics but the team just let me down today man they let me down anyway uh it's been weird it's been an absolutely weird weekend but we'll take it monaco has been boring I, i'm sorry guys if this is a short video but there really wasn't any highlight of the race weekend except for that dnf and a couple of the ghosting issues so to say but uh yeah i just don't know i don't know what to say it's been very boring weekend hopefully that's not the case with the f1 series when we get there but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed i believe baku is going to be the next one which is a very good race weekend we're going to score some massive points there hopefully because baku is one of my favorite circuits and i'll be the first time visiting there on f122 so make sure you join me then thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you guys enjoyed make sure you smash that like button subscribe using the red button down below hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as i upload next more f1 content will be going up on the regular so please be sure to be subscribed so you don't miss out Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And I'll see you guys in the next race weekend.